everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Luna Wolf and today we are just doing a little speed build for Goofy and his house over on Disney uh, Dreamlight Valley. Um, so I'm going to be moving his house um, into a corner and going to be adding um, some trees, bushes um, and one of his um, selling points. Um, because you can't put all of them together as I found out uh, so we're just going to be moving one um, and I'm putting him here next to the pond um, because you know he likes to go fishing so I thought I would give him his fishing area so he walks out of his door and he can go straight fishing so <laughs> I thought he would enjoy that um, so you're going to be putting down um, the um, brick road as well as this um, loose pebble path which I'm going to use to lead to his uh, pond there um, and <laughs> I think it's very cute how this came out um, and it's really cute as well to see him actually interacting with stuff around his house now so I put a bench down and he actually sits on his bench which I just think is really cute um, so here I'm putting down the dirt path and this is where I'm going to use to lay out um, where I put his shop and some uh, a couple of trellises, an arch, and then I'm going to be putting down some flower beds as well. Um, and here I'm just trying to put down a path around the rock face that's jutting out um, and trying to see how close I can get it and working out that I can't go any further. <laughs> um, but as I said, I'm really, really happy about this game out. And definitely um, been benefiting from um, doing the speed builds one small area at a time, working with each character's house at a time, rather than trying to do a whole area at once, um, because just massive overtake otherwise, you know, just trying to put everything down. Um, so changing my mind on the path and going to be putting down the stone path instead um to work out you know where to put everything and then i had a bush in my way so i had to come through and move everything over uh as you can see here um but yeah just looking at the different pathing and deciding you know which one's best um and this time i did the build um on xbox game pass because my last build i did it on the switch and it was just awful to do on the switch um i didn't i didn't get on with it at all <laughs> it was very difficult um so yeah i'm doing it on xbox game pass today and this this just worked out so much better um so putting down the path um i drew a straight line but it is a bit wobbly but to be honest i'm not actually that mad about it because i think it looks more natural um you know with in line with the area we're in and it's goofy that built it so he's not going to have it completely straight it's going to be a bit wonky because why not um so here you go picking up um this shop I'm putting it here um and i then wanted to try bringing the beach one up and i've left this in just to show you you cannot you can't put them down um anywhere except the valley part that they're in um, so that was a bit of a shame, but now we're just going to be putting down some um, bushes and some of these um, dwarf trees, um, which are so cute. <laughs> Look at it, it's a little little tree. <laughs> um, yeah, and just choosing bits to put down um, and having a look through. And I'm going to be putting down some of these flower beds as well. Um, and I end up actually um, rearranging these a little bit, um, in a little bit. Um, and then putting more pathing down in between them so you know it looks like they're sitting on um, dirt <laughs> you know like like you've you've built the um, stone edge of the bedding the flower bed around where the flowers are so it kind of um, looks yeah as you can see here it looks like you've built that little bit of brick around the dirt that was already there and i thought that worked really really well um 
so that I just I liked how that looked and I decided that's what I'm going to put down so, <laughs> um, so just going to be putting another one there and I'm going to be um, getting rid of that one and just moving stuff around um, and I'm going to be putting down some of these trellises I love these um, I've got to remember what you need for them I'm pretty sure it's just the pink and white um, Penensia flower I think um, but I'm going to be putting these down and I'm also going to put an archway in as well, um, trellis arch archway, um, so it sort of blocks off this area. So the thinking behind this was, um, you know, he, he grows everything right next to where the shop bit is there, uh, was the thinking. Um, and, um, so yeah, lots of flowers and bushes and I'm going to be putting down some barrels, um, in a little bit, um. And it, it was quite nice because, as I've said before, I, I, I've not really looked through a lot of this stuff. So it's quite nice to have a look through and see what there is and also kind of experiment with what you put down. Um, it's putting this Forest of Valor bush down here um, and another one here. And I went for a different colour one because whilst I'm doing quite a bit of symmetry here, I didn't want it being all exactly the same because, as I said, I'm going for goofy. So going to be making it a little bit crowded, a little bit messy because, you know, I think Goofy, that's just how he is, you know. <laughs> so putting some of these barrels down um, here, so again it just looks a bit more like a little shopping area. Um, and here's the trellis arch that I decided to put down um, and me here fighting with the camera trying to <laughs> get it in a way that I can see what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be putting down the trellis arch um, and then I'm just going to move around the trellises themselves so it all matches up a little bit. Um, so here I was checking to see how it looked, um, realised that they weren't quite um, lined up with each other, so I've come back in to look at it from a different view, um, as you can see there. <laughs> um, and now I'm going to work on the other side. Um, so putting down more of the brick um, and this area I end up putting a bench and some trees and um, put down um, a little well as well so he can get some water um, and keep the uh, keep the fruit bush there and the banana tree I decided to leave there. Uh, I think they work quite well to um, sort of cut off this part of the area keep it blocked a bit. Uh, I'm going to be putting the fencing down, of course, <laughs> because I need more of the white picket fence. Um, I think it works very well, honestly, the fence. Um, just going to move these bits out of the way <laughs> so I can put more fencing down. But I really like using the fence. I, it works very well. Um, and being white as well, it just it fits in everywhere. So, <laughs> And yeah, it just it just makes it feel a bit more like an enclosed garden even though not the whole thing is enclosed and i am going to move those um tree and bush around in a bit um and at the moment i'm just going through putting stuff down and then i will move it all a bit more um put it all a bit more where i want it to be <laughs> just putting down uh the flower pots um honestly one of the best things about the valley is how quickly flowers grow how every day flowers pop up um, so these flower pots and flower beds, they're very easy to put down because um, you know, they're popping up every day and they just take over if you leave them. So <laughs> I'm putting down this Mickey berry bush, um, the McBerry tree, <laughs> a couple of more trellises um, and I'm going to be adding more of that dirt path in um, because that's where I'm going to be putting the well. Um, but oh yeah, and I'm putting a um, cute little bike down as well. <laughs> But I hope you guys have been enjoying this video. Um, I hope you're having a wonderful week. Um, and I hope um, you guys have enjoyed. Um, if you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Um, I'm really enjoying doing these speed boards at the moment. It's nice to be working on something different to Animal Crossing. Um, because I love Animal Crossing. And we are going to be doing some more uh, live streams of Animal Crossing. But it's also nice to just work on something different and... Um, there's a lot more scope with this game as well with what you can put down um, and how you can make each area look and um, I definitely have plans um, and I'm getting rid of that lamp as I said I'm going to be putting the uh, well here 
so you know he gets his fresh water and he can sit on the bench and it's really cute because I've already seen him sitting on this bench so I just love that I love that the, the um, characters use the things that you put down you know um, so just outlining the well here with a little dirt path um, and then I'm just gonna uh, check everything's working here and there we go that is his area built so thank you so much for watching everyone bye for now